This video is full of D&D music playlists that you can use in your campaign. For your convenience, everything that I talk about in this video is linked in the description down below. Those That is for my copyrighted playlist and that's also for my non-copyrighted playlists. Before you go, I want to talk about how music impacts D&D and why you should use it as a dungeon master. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Tales of Octavia YouTube channel. My name is Francis, I'm a dungeon master and a Twitch streamer. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so if I miss anything or you have your own recommendations for me to check out, uh, let me know and I might add it to the playlist later on. But today we're going to be talking about music, and music is one of my favorite things to talk about because growing up as a film nerd, music has always been a important use when it came to developing that correct video. And as someone who studied film growing up, I've learned that music really sets the tone for your players and it helps suspend their disbelief. It makes them realize that their attacks have a lot more impact than they do from a gameplay standpoint. It makes scenes and anticipation more tense and it, it separates the experience from drinking and spending the night at a tavern versus spending your day at the beach or a campfire. Overall, I would say D&D music is extremely important to me and over my course of three years of DMing, I have essentially narrowed it down to five separate playlists, which are exploration, combat, tavern, tense, and environment, slash ambiance, or whatever you want to call it. And the reason why I do that is because the what I've learned as a DM is that the lesser playlists, the better. You're already juggling all of these different things, so music you just want it to be there and it works whenever you want it and regardless of whether you're playing it in person or you're playing online you just want it to work and you just want the right music to play and frankly timing is everything currently my group and i play D, &D online so i do everything through discord and one trick that I will recommend is using two Discord bots. The reason why I do that is because one Discord bot is going to be playing the music and the other Discord bot is going to be playing the ambiance, which can be rain, it can be wind, it can be fire, it can be anything. But having these two essentially has pretty much replicated the experience they would have in person. Also, since I stream my game on Mondays, I use copyrighted free music, otherwise known as royalty free music. Frankly, you don't have to do that. You can, you are free to use the copyrighted music. And actually before I would recommend it because before when I was playing in person, I would use all sorts of tracks. I would use Skyrim, I would use Witcher, I would use even those quirky anime openings from Attack on Titan or Full Metal Alchemist. These tracks are endless and the possibilities that you can have is important because you can have, you can essentially make any game, any movie, any film or anime work in your direction. Other notable resources that I recommend, one is Wes from Arcane Anthems and he makes free RPG music that you can use in your campaign. You can even use it for your Twitch streams. I even used his tracks as one of the podcast openings when I still had my podcast. All of his music is up on Patreon so if you want to check him out, uh, go there. He also makes a lot of TikTok content, so go check that out because he's hilarious. I love his stuff. Another resource that I have used in the past is Epidemic Sound, and Epidemic Sound is a royalty-free website where it's designed for YouTubers and streamers. However, I have found that there are actually really good tracks for Combat and Tavern. So if you're looking for those two playlists in particular, I highly recommend it. It is a premium service, so 
If you don't mind paying the extra money, uh, I'd highly recommend it. It's like 15 bucks a month. It doesn't break the bank, and I think that for the quality of music that you get, it is really good, and I highly recommend it. Finally, there is a service that I've known about, but I haven't had the opportunity to really use, and that is Tabletop Audio. Uh, tabletop Audio, Tabletop Sounds, Tabletop Audio. I think it's Tabletop Audio. Tabletop Audio is a website that is full of ambiance. You, there's practically every setting that you can think of, from having a beach to a underdark cavern. There is so much ambiance that you can have, and Tabletop Sounds is a service that I wanted to use when I was still playing in person, but 2020 kind of threw that off. And Tabletop Sounds is also really good for D&D streams. I actually see it used often in other D&D streams. Wooden is skilled, I'm looking at you. The problem that I've run into it is I haven't gotten it to work with Discord. And there's probably something that I could rig if you have any idea please let me know <laughs> but if you could get it working for your stream or playing D&D online it's completely advertising free so go check it out and let me know how it is I've never used it in a campaign and I hope I will one day hopefully when all of this is over so that's pretty much all of the D&D music that I have used ever since playing D&D like three or four years ago. Like I said, I'm cons I'm adding to these playlists, so if you have any music that you would like to recommend for any of the tracks, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll check them out. Maybe I'll add them. Also, if you want to see all of the music or hear all of the music in action, I stream our game every Monday on Twitch. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you in a few days with a brand new video. So, bye guys. It's literally, it's titled The Future, the book is called The Future. This is our future. You flip it open, <laughs> and then it says, and the chapter one, The Gentle Caress. <laughs>